Happy 2023 everyone! Welcome to the Ingredient Channel, where I share easy to follow homemade recipes. Today, let's work on an easy pancake with Chinese bacon, shrimp, and some vegetables. The uniqueness about this recipe is it calls for very little amount of starch and it is super delicious so you can indeed indulge your taste buds a little more without feeling guilty. First, let's shred a Chinese eggplant which I removed the skin as it has sat in the refrigerator for several days and got wrinkled. Cut into thin shred and uh, then shred a medium-sized carrot. Chop some scallion, about two tablespoons. Add the scallion into a container and one teaspoon cooking oil. Mix a few times. This is going to reserve the green color of the scallion rings. Then shred some Chinese bacon. We will need around three quarters cup of bacon. By the way, please make sure to boil the bacon before you shred it. It takes about 20 minutes to simmer and boil uh, to soften the bacon. If it is hard for you to find the Chinese bacon around where you live, check out my Chinese bacon recipe, which presents step-by-step -step instructions about how to make Chinese bacon from scratch. Next step, we're going to uh, shred some shrimp. These I have seasoned with one teaspoon of oyster sauce, a pinch of salt, and white pepper. Spray a bit salt on the eggplant and carrot shred. Squeeze out the juice. Put all the ingredients together. Mix a few times. Two tablespoons of frying powder or potato starch. Mix again. One large egg. One teaspoon of oyster sauce. Two tablespoons of cooking oil. Mix well. In a heated pan, 
three tablespoons of cooking oil. Scoop up proper amount of the pancake mixture, about two to three tablespoons of the ingredients. Lay them flat in the pan. Medium heat, sear for about one minute or until the bottom gets solid. Flip and sear the other side for about one more minute. Use the spatula to flatten the cake gently. Take them out. Repeat the steps as needed for the rest of the ingredients. Then time to enjoy. It's crispy outside, soft and juicy inside, with the perfect mix of the fatty smoke taste of the bacon and the seafood flavor from the shrimp. Simply delicious. You've got to try this. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Please do like and share the recipe to support my channel. If you're new, please also remember to subscribe. For more exciting and easier to follow authentic Chinese recipes. Thanks and see you around.